winding wet film is a, an adventure in itself, especially with this, where it's not quite a 16mm um, set of winders, is it? This could end a, also end in tears. Let's get that lined up properly. Um, there are lots of ways. You work either from the top or the bottom, or left to the right, whatever you want to do, but you always do it the same way. When you're winding up film, it doesn't matter if it's wet or not. Um, <coughs> they put these really nice little grooves in there, which is just so cute, so cute, and completely useless in my opinion. <laughs> Much better if you just wind it off, wind it up onto the core without using that. Of course, when it's film's wet and buckled, it's a bit difficult, but in general. The reason being is if someone who pays less attention than I is winding the film <coughs> and it's been stuck in there, or worse still, taped down with a bit, of, a bit of sticky tape, when it gets to the end it just goes whack and pulls in really tight and you get what's called cinching. You see the film sort of mm -hmm. rolling, rolling up on itself? Mm -hmm. Well if that was dry film, that would basically be just grinding dirt and dust into the emulsion. There are a couple of issues about um, polyester film during long-term storage. When you're winding film, you've got to keep control over both ends. Normally you wouldn't wind wet film. <clears throat> There's nothing we can really do to dry it like this. We'll have a crack at dry or showing how we might possibly dry it. Yeah, that kind of worked kind of okay. Tips about winding. <coughs> it has to be really slow and really even. If you sort of push it like that down and you're changing the tension all the time, you sort of get little bits of cinching and then loose and you get a, a wind which isn't nice and flat. You want a nice flat wind like that because if, if little bits stick up, they will break off in handling or they'll get bent or damaged or something and the film won't transport terribly well. Which is why you really need machines. <sighs> Pretty much everything with film, you need machines to do it properly.